Okay, so first of all, I'm going to select the whole of this column and then go to the Home tab and go to Find and Replace. Then I'm going to find all of the R1s and replace them with a format. And I will change the fill to be an orange fill and then replace all. And this changes all of these cells that have R1 in them to orange. Then I can do the same thing again for R2. And this time I will change the fill to green and OK and replace all. And that changes all of the cells with R2 to green. And that makes it easier to see the difference. Now I have all of my formulas set up. I'm averaging each of the groups. And what I want to do is copy these formulas across. However, that messes up the formulas because now the cell references are looking in column E instead of in column D. So I want to change these formulas so they all have absolute cell references. And to make the differences easier to see, I will go to the Formulas tab and click Show Formulas. Then I'll select all of these cells and the keyboard shortcut to open up the replace box is Control H. Then I will clear the replace format and I will find all of the D's and replace them with dollar sign D dollar sign. And that will turn all of these cell references into absolute cell references and replace all and OK and close. And now I can copy all of these formulas and paste them in here and the cell references will stay the same. Now I want to change the formulas from average to standard deviation. So I'll select these cells here and another way of opening up the replace box is to use the keyboard shortcut Control F which stands for Find and then click on the Replace tab. Then I can find the average and replace it with standard deviation and replace all and OK and close. And now I have the standard deviation formula and it is looking in the same cells. Now to turn the absolute cell references back into relative cell references, I'll open up the replace box and find all of the dollar signs and then replace them with nothing. And that will remove all of the dollar signs. So now all of the cell references are back to being relative cell references. Then I want to do the same thing but for R2. And for R2 all of the cell references need to be three rows lower. So I will copy these cells here and then go one, two, three rows lower and paste them in here. And that changes all of these cell references so they are in the correct rows. And I can select these cells and drag them back up here without these cell references changing a second time. But the cell references are looking in the wrong column. They're looking in column F and I want for them to be looking in column D. So I will select these cells and then open up the replace box and find all of the F's and replace them with D's and then replace all. And now the cell references have changed to all be looking in the correct cells. I will then copy these formulas across and this causes all of the cell references to move across by one column. So they are now all looking in column E. So I will select all of these and open up the replace box and I want to find all of the E's and replace them with D's. However, there's a problem with this because the word average actually has two E's in it. So when I click replace all, this messes up the formulas. So I will undo that and then open up the replace box again. And to fix this, I need to put an open bracket in front of the E and also in front of the D. 
and this will force it to only look at the first cell reference in the range. So when I click replace all, only the first cell references are changed from E to D. Then I'll do the same thing again, but with a colon in the front instead of an open bracket, and that will force it to look at just the second cell reference. So when I replace all, it changes just the second cell reference in the range from E to D. And then I'll close this. And now I have the formulas all with the correct cell references. But I want to change this from average to standard deviation. So I'll select them and open up the replace box again. And we will find all of the averages and replace them with standard deviation and replace all and OK and close. And now I have the standard deviation formulas, but with the same cell references. Now I will switch off the show formulas. And in this cell here, I have the same cell reference repeated four times, and that is G3. And I want to change this formula so it's looking in this cell here, which is F13. So I will open up the replace box and I will find all of the G3s and then replace them with F13 and replace all. And this finds all four copies of that cell reference and changes it instead of me having to change them individually. Now I want to take this table and I want to copy and paste it transposed. However, there's a problem with this because the cell references in the formulas are also transposed. So I will undo that and then instead select this table here and open up the replace box and find all of the equals and replace them with hash equals. It doesn't necessarily need to be a hash, it could be whatever you want it to be. And then replace all and OK and close. And now all of the formulas have been turned into text. So I can now copy all of this and paste it transposed. And then we'll do the opposite of what I just did. So now we will find all of the hash equals and replace them with equals and replace all. And that changes everything back to formulas. So now the table is transposed, but all of the formulas are still the same. OK, so in this video, I have shown you how to use find and replace with formulas in Excel. And that is everything.